Good morning. We're now in the beautiful city of Valencia. We're taking a little coffee here before starting our day. It's a nice uh, coffee where they have some vegan options to eat as well that we found. It's called Colt Cafe. Today we plan to explore the old city of Valencia as well as go to the Turia uh, Gardens and the Botanical Gardens as well. Let's go. One thing I love about Spain is how breastfeeding in public is considered super normal. I never felt weird while breastfeeding in public. I even saw women breastfeeding while walking here and it's considered super cool. In Canada too, you, you see it, but here it's really like everywhere, breastfeeding in restaurants, bars, whatever. I just like that it's super common here. Just right now I'm breastfeeding in the Plaza de la Reina, which is a super busy place and I feel super comfortable, which is nice because in Canada I used to feel a little bit self-conscious about that, so yeah, I think Spain made me more comfortable with breastfeeding in public, so that's good. So we realized that in the last video, we didn't really talk about how the flight and the travel went from Montreal to Spain. And Matteo did actually uh, pretty well, better than we could have ever imagined. On a six and a half hour flight, he slept uh, like five, five and a half hours. And the rest of the time, we basically changed him, he ate and went back to sleep almost immediately. We were lucky because we chose a night flight, so it was perfect because it was night for in Mateo's head, so he slept a whole lot more than if it was during the day. And also, just traveling with a baby in general is a lot more fun and enjoyable and easier than we thought. <laughs> We are currently at the Botanic Garden of the University of Valencia. It was founded in 1567, so pretty old, and it has over 4,500 different species of plants and flowers. Let's go explore. We are currently in the Turia Garden. So this actually used to be a river, but because it flooded once, they decided to move the water stream elsewhere and they made a garden with the riverbed. The nice thing about the Turia Garden is that it goes all around the city, so it's accessible from pretty much anywhere. We love to come here in the morning to run or even just to take walks in the afternoon. It is such a great place to visit if you come to Valencia. We've been in Valencia for about a week and we still have three more weeks to go. So in total, we'll spend a month here. And the reason being, we wanted to be not in a city too big like Barcelona or Madrid, uh, but we still wanted to have plenty of things to do. So far, we really, really love the city. It is really lively. It's a lot more people than we thought, but still manageable. The old town is 
pretty touristic, but still it is less crowded than Barcelona. So, so far we really love it and we'll continue exploring this beautiful city. So thank you so much for watching this week's video and we'll see you in our next one.